Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my latest video. Um, today I want to talk about PTSD and nursing. Um, I've had this idea written down for months now on my video ideas list and for some reason I never felt like I could get around to talk about it until today and I recorded another video today on organ donation and I shared a very like personal story about one of my shifts um, where I took care of a patient that was an organ donor and um, it kind of like sparked my, I don't say sparked my interest, but motivated me to do this video as well. Um, PTSD and nursing. I feel like when you hear the word PTSD, you oftentimes think of it um, in the sense of like the military or law enforcement or something where someone is seeing people constantly get injured or die or traumatic things. But if you think about it, Nurses also see a lot of traumatic things, a lot of severe injuries, a lot of very sad emotional cases where people died where they shouldn't have died, um, people bleeding out, people super sick, um, just very gruesome or traumatic things, whether it's like physically gruesome, like where there's blood and guts and gore, or it's like more emotionally... I don't use the word gruesome. Emotionally gruesome, that's not the right thing. But it's a very emotional thing. I'm not saying that I have PTSD, but I know that there's many nurses out there that who sh are gonna be struggling with some of the things that I talk about in this video. And um, I hope it just brings to light like the beauty, but also the horror side of being a nurse. Um, but nursing's a very, very emotional, stressful job. And I have had several, um, I've seen a lot of terrible things being an ICU nurse. I've seen people who have bled out. I've seen people that died that shouldn't have died. I've seen, you know, families just be torn to shreds by a diagnosis of their loved one. And that's very hard. And I would be lying if I said there are certain people that I've taken care of in my nursing career that I still think of to this day or certain situations that I still think of to this day because I just wonder like I wonder what happened or I wonder what the outcome was or I wonder how the family's doing and in my organ donation video which I'll have linked down below I actually talk about kind of more about a situation that um, I still think about till this to this day and I'm not say I I'm not saying I don't you know I could go home I still can go to bed it's not like I'm waking up with nightmares or terrors or, or some more of those PTSD signs um, but there are situations where maybe I've you know had a little bit difficulty going to sleep because I'm just replaying the events of the day in my head or you know weeks later I wonder like I wonder how this person's doing and it's still like very emotional and I think that's a very normal. Thing when you're a nurse no matter what type of nurse you are especially when you're a new nurse you go home and you replay your day over and over and over in your head you cannot forget you know you cannot just let go of the things that you did or saw through the day or you're like oh crap I think I forgot to chart this or I forgot to do this or what if I said this better or what if I did this better or this doctor yelled at me or this doctor hung up on me and it's just you replay constantly the events of the day and it kind of just really gets to you. My first six months of nursing were like that. I just went home every day and I just thought, 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 thought. And I don't really know what I did to make that get better over time, but eventually you kind of just get more used to and comfortable in your job and you go home and you can kind of leave work at work and enjoy your personal life at home because you really need to have a good healthy separation between the two. I'm not saying you can't come home and talk about your day. That's one of the really important things to do is talk about your day when you come home. Talk about it, these things with your coworkers, the things that you've seen, the things that you've done. Talk about it to your coworkers because I love my husband and I tell him lots of stories when I come home, but at the end of the day, he just doesn't quite fully know what my job is like because he doesn't do it. Same thing with his job. I don't fully know what his job is like because I don't do it. And even though he's happy to listen to me and I like to vent to him, at the end of the day, he doesn't quite 100% get the things that I do or see at work. And so that's why it's great to talk to your coworkers about these things. Talk to your manager, talk to someone who you can trust because if you kind of just bottle it all up, it really will start to get to you. And then there's been, you know, several cases of nurses who have, you know, tried to commit suicide or have committed suicide because of things that have developed in their career or things that they've seen in their past that have just kind of 
manifested in a negative way. So you really have to take these emotional situations and process them and have a healthy outlet, whether it's exercising or taking naps or like hanging out with friends, whatever you do, have a healthy outlet. So that way these things don't build up over time and start to cause you more, you know, mental health illness related issues. So I hope this kind of touches on PTSD and nursing a little bit. Again, I'm not saying I have PTSD, but I can see how it's really easy for nurses to slip into that mind frame and PTSD and with all of her traumatic things that we see. So take care of yourself, take care of your coworkers, have a healthy outlet, talk with people, and nursing such a beautiful thing, and I hope this video doesn't deter you away, but it's important to know what you're getting into before you're into nursing, or if you're already there, I'm sure that you've already are, are discovering this. Um, but nursing's a beautiful field, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.